welcome to A Book in Two Minutes. Uh, my name is Lindsay Milner and I'm a training and development consultant working mainly with non-profit organisations to help them to create awesome workplaces. And in the course of that work, I've spent a lot of time reading business books, management books, books on thinking, books on personal development. And I thought it might be interesting to share some of those with you. And today's book is called Do It Tomorrow, Other Secrets of Time Management. And it is by Mark Forster. And many thanks to my nephew Jack, who's given me a tip on how to actually turn it round so that you can read the book title and you haven't got it backwards in mirror image. It's a little bit weird for me because everything's backwards on the screen, but you know, I'll get used to that, I guess. At least at least you can read the book title. Um hey Drew, uh not Drew, Ryan, sorry. Um Ryan, thanks for joining me today. I've just read that off the screen and went for the drew bit first sorry about that um yeah so this book uh secrets of time management now i'm a procrastinator and what procrastinator can resist a book title do it tomorrow i know the old saying why put off tomorrow what you can do today but if you're a procrastinator you will put it off until tomorrow uh, but actually, this is quite an old book. Uh, it was published in 2006, and I've read many books on productivity and time management. But this is one of my favourites. And when I picked it up to have a look um, and see what was in there that I particularly liked, I was really surprised to see the very first thing it says is, if you're suffering from a backlog, is just pile everything up and put the backlog where you can't see it. And then another key principle in the book is understand what um, a day's work consists of. Because if you're very disorganised and you, you know, you're you constantly wanting to manage time better and be more productive, then you are often looking for ways to, to do that. But you actually then find that you're spending so much time faffing about you're never focused you don't properly focus on one thing at a time but putting the backlog out of the way and assessing what a day's work actually consists of is a really useful starting point um, the book then goes on to talk about some techniques for dealing with your incoming work things like um, having closed lists don't react when you know the phone call goes and somebody asks for something don't drop what you're doing and go straight to that but he actually puts lots of systems in place so although there's a quick start of like put your backlog out of the way there is also that structure for how to continue to deal with your work on an ongoing basis and there's lots of really useful info in here I've read other books. Uh, there's one called The Productivity Ninja, which I spent ages trying to work out. Um, hi, Andy. Thanks for joining me. There's The Productivity Ninja, and I spent ages one time trying to put their system in place, only to find that that system didn't actually work for me. Um, there's another one, um, somebody, Alan, I can't remember, David Allen, I think, um, called Getting Things Done, which is a classic of the genre. But actually, although this is less well known, I find this one is actually a lot more practical and a lot more hands-on, a lot more helpful if you are a procrastinator. Um, it is still available, I did check, um, it's still available through Amazon. Um, so yeah, if you struggle with procrastination and being organised, then I recommend this book. So that's today's book in two minutes, or again, longer than two minutes, two minutes-ish. Um, thanks for joining me. I will see you here again tomorrow, same time, Facebook Live, 4pm, for a book in two minutes. Let me know what you think. Do you have problems with productivity and procrastination? And um, if so, do you think you might give this book a try? Look forward to seeing your comments. See you tomorrow. Bye.